Okay, so today, um, we're going to talk about food thickening. Now, here's the subject that I have kept for a long time, um, since my grandpa passed away. And during the time, um, I saw something in his thickener, uh, which is uh, salt. And I kind of, I knew, but I didn't want to say anything because my grandma is not, um, like, you know, normally people, uh, when you suggest something or when you say something, it seems to be an attack, uh, rather than uh, taking as a, you know, an advice. Um, it seems a lot of people do that. Uh, they, 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 they think it's an attack rather than, you know, a uh, benefit of a doubt. Um, like if I say something in my video, give me the benefit of a doubt. You can always check, uh, fast check it. Um, but that's, the world is kind of weird. And, um, kind of weird that way is that, um, when people say something and it's kind of logic, okay, I have to put logic in there, uh, and it is kind of logic, then I give that person the benefit of a doubt. Um, but it seems really funny that I have discovered a lot of things. And yes, you can check, you can check my channel out. I've discovered a lot of things, a lot of things that people don't even know yet. And I say, yet. Funny, yet. But it seems like they would take it as an attack rather than at, as, at, as a something that, you know, hey, wait a minute, you know, I'll give that person a benefit of a doubt. Um, you know, that's how I do things. When someone say something and you know it doesn't make any sense or they're just talking out of their ASS, then you just, oh, 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 okay, okay. You agree to it and then you just brush it off. But when a person tell you something that actually make any sense, you would want to listen. You will want to observe. You want to test that theory out or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, I'm starting to see things really weird about people. Um, and that's one thing that I see most is that people don't give the person benefit of a doubt or fast check it. You always go fast check something before you actually jump overboard. Sort of like how they say, don't jump off the, off the bridge unless you check the below, right? I mean, <laughs> any person with a right mind would just jump off the bridge knowing that they're gonna be something down there, right? But hey, I mean, some people just jump off a bridge, bridge period. They don't know what the, no. anyway. I would like to fast check before I jump off a bridge. Thank you. But anyway, <laughs> funny. But anyway, I would like to give you a little joke here and there. But um, this, this video, I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple. This video is about food thickener and if you have an older parents or someone's in the hospital or someone's old grandparents or even like i said a parent and during the time that they have a hard time to swallow here's what i'm going to tell you and probably no one in the world knows this one anytime a person who has harder chance to swallow and they need food thickener in order to go down nicely 99 and I say 99.9999% they have thyroid problem yes uh huh what leads to thyroid problem iodine deficiency yes you heard it correctly so if you get starting getting old, salt 
it's actually going to become your enemy. Funny thing is they think the sugar is the enemy. No, salt is. And especially sea salt. Because sea salt does not have iodine in it. And I said that many times in my some of my videos. Like people would, would fight me for this one. Watch. They say, oh, sea salt got a lot of vitamins. Sea salt got a lot of beneficial blah, blah, blah. Sea salt have 83 blah, blah. Oh, yeah, really? The only thing it doesn't have is iodine. Ha, ha. You can eat the sea salt all you want. And one time I told him, yeah. I'll, give you, I'll even give you a straw and go to the ocean and suck some of the these sea salt out. But anyway, remember me and give me benefit of a doubt that sea salt, it's actually dangerous to older, older people, okay? Because iodine, remember that. And because the body grows older, it needs iodine. The older you get, the more iodine you need. And I'm going to list a link that the vegetable that you can eat if you are older, you can actually eat those. Unfortunately, and I've seen in my grandpa, he doesn't eat any of those. He hated them. Like broccoli, cauliflower, blah, 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 all the list. I'll list them on because it's too many. I'll list them in the, in the description for you. But anyway, so I saw, and that's why the reason why I did this right here. I actually rip it out because we found um, we found food thickener without salt in them and believe it or not she keep feeding him with this with the salt part there are brands out there and no I'm not I'm not advertising for anybody okay just make sure if you are feeding kids or adults or an older person make sure there is no salt in it okay because you can you can feed the person salt other places but they actually put salt in here and I hope and I hope most of the manufacturer who put salt in there realizing what it's actually it's actually killing the person because if you are iodine deficiency you do not need salt mm-hmm that's the enemy the more salt you get the harder you will swallow yes because your thyroid gland will swallow up and when it's swallowing up that's when you can't swallow and that's when they cannot swallow food because they are lack of iodine although in the, the, the stage you know in the older older if the person's really older it's it's in that stage you know you can't help the person anymore but you can still help to cut the salt out okay so please when you see this video and you know somebody please remember just to advise them because just like I said before and before I go it's going to be hard because it's going to be hard to tell them because like I said it seems to be at least 70% of the population 70 to 80% of the population when you say something they take it as an attack rather than as an advice or maybe a friendly advice or benefit of a doubt of a doubt okay and it's I mean it seems crazy but that's the way I starting to see what kind of world do I live in but imagine just for saying something like this oh grandma can you switch this because you know you know what I had to do I had to peel the label off see that and I put the other label on so that way she doesn't know yep because I knew I knew that she was feeding him with salt too much salt in it and he's eating salt as well yep so if you see this video and you listening so far to here uh, please remember me and remember that this is not an attack. This is an advice. You can take it or leave it. But give me the benefit of a doubt. Because it can save somebody. That's all I'm going to say. Because salt 
as you get older and older and older, salt will be your number one enemy. Please remember that. It is not sugar like they said. It is salt. And salt without iodine. Iodine actually regulate that. But without iodine, it will not, your thyroid would not, would have a hard time. Your thyroid gland will have a hard time. And that's why it needs iodine. But you can get the vegetables that have iodine, natural iodine, besides seaweed, of course, because, you know, how are we going to get seaweed in America? Uh, well, we have it, but anyway, not where I am. There's a nuclear plant there. I wouldn't want to eat there. But anyway, um, so there are other vegetables. And remember this, and remember this, in my other videos, I said bitter everything has to be bitter and here's the problem what happened is when people are young they do not I myself did not like it and so I started to notice something is that when people are young they do not like bitter food and guess what bitterness is iodine uh-huh you know it. If you heard it and you listened to this far, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, start eating bitter food or bitter stuff, bitter vegetables, because it's actually been very beneficial. People just don't know it. A lot of kids, and you know it, and, and you, you're listening to this, you probably yourself did not even know that one. And you probably have just skipped it too. But remember this, okay? The older you get, the more bitter the food that you need. Maybe if you eat a lot of bitter food, you won't be bitter, right? Ha ha ha. That's a joke. But anyway, please remember this video. The older you get, the less the salt. That's how it works. And believe it or not, your thyroid gland is where it blows up to develop goiter. And when you get goiter, that's where it blocks your throat from swallowing. That's how why people have difficult swallowing food. Okay? So please remember that. I don't think anybody in his human history have said something like this here. And I can guarantee you, this video will be suppressed again. Okay? But if you know an older person, if you know someone old, spread the word. Tell them that they need... To stay away from sea salt, all the nutritions and the, and the vitamins, you can get it from other place or just take regular vitamins. You don't have to eat sea salt. Like I said, if you really want to, I'll give you all the straws in the world. I'll even buy the straw for you to, to go down to the ocean and drink it. But I am telling you right now before I go, the older you get, the salt going to be your enemy. Okay? And that's what I've learned from this right here. And I remember seeing it. And I could not. It was in the final month of his life. I could not stand it no more. So I had to go and buy. This is actually the one with the salt in it. I took the label off. Uh -huh. I took the label off. We went all over the place. Just to get these without salt in them. And the ingredients right here. Okay. So you can see. Right there. That's it. There's no salt in there. And that's when I knew. And he was starting to have to be, be better. After. But. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to upset anybody. So I didn't do the things that I supposed to. Because it was, like I stated, and I'll state it one more time. It seems to be an attack. Everything I say, it's always an attack rather than something good. Funny as that, people take things as an attack. When I do videos, some of my videos and stuff, they, they, do, they too seem to be doing as an attack rather than something good. Take this video as good rather than attack. Okay? Other than that, I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next video.